in a fantastic turn of events, fans of the show Yellowstone might finally get closure as the show nears its end. Surprisingly enough, it has more to do with the character than the show's plot. The return of the main man is on the cards. Kevin Costner returning to Yellowstone. After all the uncertainty, we finally have an answer. Kevin Costner will return for the final part of the last season of Yellowstone. The Academy Award winner retracted his decision to leave the show. Although it would be more of a cameo rather than a leading role, fans would appreciate his character bowing out in the most respectable manner. Co-creator and showrunner Taylor Sheridan is probably not in the mood to tear up the scripts now that they're almost complete and filming is about to begin. We doubt Sheridan would do so in order to bring back Costner's character. Trust us, a cameo would be the best possible solution for all parties. This heated situation between Costner and Sheridan first appeared when Costner exited the show. Costner said that he committed to season 5, but midway through this plan, Sheridan planned to switch it up. Sheridan divided the fifth season into two parts, and that was when Costner's mood swing kicked in. Costner wanted to wrap up season 5 and start shooting his upcoming western epic Horizon, an American saga. Unfortunately, dedicating his time to Yellowstone prevented Costner from doing that. A show that he was working on once during the year then required him to do it a second time. This ballooned his schedule and hurt the rest of his projects in the process. It really shouldn't bother Costner that much, but he's hyped up Horizon brilliantly in the media. Plus, it's a project he's been looking forward to for some time now, so if he's salty about having his schedule disrupted, it makes a lot of sense. He's even gone as far as to say that this film is the biggest struggle he's ever carried out in his film career. We hear you, bud. Costner and Sheridan's Equation Speaking of struggling, Costner's and Sheridan's relationship from both ends is pretty cold right now. Like Costner, Sheridan is known in the industry as someone who sticks religiously to his creative schedule. If there are any delays or drawbacks, Sheridan doesn't like it. After what Costner did, the last thing he should be expecting from Sheridan is to ask him to come back on the show. With the scripts already finalized, making changes in the story at the 11th hour would mess up the arc of the supporting cast. This cast includes some pretty talented names like Kelly Riley and Wes Bentley. On the other hand, Sheridan has been as cool as a cucumber throughout the entire situation. Even though Sheridan was quiet when Costner departed from the show, he has recently let his feelings be known about what went down. Sheridan told the public that Kevin Costner's image as an actor hasn't changed in his eyes. The key word here is actor. An actor and a person are two different people. Isn't that right, Mr. Costner? Nevertheless, he said that the two had no kind of problems, but when lawyers started to enter a situation and say things on others' behalf, that is when things get messy. Even the press or public doesn't let the chance of making a mountain out of a molehill go by. Sheridan ended his statement by saying he doesn't know anyone who deserves the kind of treatment Costner has received. Sheridan also voiced his support for Horizon, and he hopes it will succeed in a few months. Stepping away from Costner and speaking about the character John Dutton himself, Sheridan said that although it doesn't alter the character's fate, it shortens his screen time. That being said, the story is in the hands of Sheridan and not even Costner can do anything about it. That's right, rumor has it that Sheridan shot down Costner when he tried to modify some elements of Yellowstone during the early seasons of the show. Sheridan said that it would be better if he stuck to acting. Saying something like that to Kevin Costner? Shutting down Kevin Costner like that? That's a pretty baller move, Sheridan. Costner's Personal Troubles All things aside, let's not forget that the last year has been pretty rough for Kevin Costner, too. He went through a divorce and has had to pay huge sums of money to lawyers and child support. However, Costner's determination made him stand tall. So many people would fall out of love with their craft if things like these were happening in their personal lives but not Costner. Every day, he realized that he was in the middle of a legal divorce battle, which caused him to keep on losing money like crazy. Costner and his wife of 20 years, Christine Baumgartner, announced their divorce last summer. Soon after, a legal battle ensued, which was finalized last month. 
Costner was devastated after it happened because he truly loved his family. However, ex-lovers became bitter enemies when they went to the courtroom, where apparently the major apple of discord between the two was child support payments. Seeing Costner go through all this while working on his projects of Yellowstone and Horizon would be a bummer for anyone. Thankfully, it's over now, and Costner can focus on his career once again. What's next for Costner after Yellowstone? Costner was already an A-list superstar on the big screen, but his performance as John Dutton has helped silence his critics. There could have been an even better ending to his story had things not swerved like they did with Costner and Sheridan. But that's showbiz for you. You win some, you lose some. In all honesty, however, Costner returning to the show would be a great send-off for the character. With him leading from the front for five long seasons, his character disappearing just out of the blue would have been badly received. We'll admit that plot armor and holes can help writers in such situations, but it just doesn't seem right. Abruptly making a character disappear off the show when you've built up his arc for five seasons is a bad move. We can already smell the critique the writer's room will face. And just to make Costner's case even stronger, somebody should tell Sheridan that Costner won a Golden Globe while portraying John Dutton. Is this a convincing enough case for Sheridan to give him a bigger role in the final part? Who knows? It won't be wrong to say that Costner is already looking past Yellowstone. Two years ago, he began filming Horizon, and both parts will be released within months of each other this summer. Costner has already said he's put much effort into this project and fans will enjoy it. So even if Yellowstone doesn't end on a high note, there's a lot on the horizon that Costner can look forward to. No pun intended. Everything to know about Yellowstone Season 5 Yellowstone is quite possibly the best drama on television right now, hands down. Kevin Costner has a big hand in that. But part of it has to do with the way all the characters are layered and how well put together their scenes are. As for the show's current plotline, a war breaks out amongst the Duns with Jamie and Beth, played respectively by Wes Bentley and Kelly Riley, who strongly oppose each other. Meanwhile, John, Costner, faces a risk of being impeached, and to make matters worse, a deadly illness for cattle and other wildlife is spreading in Montana, the place where the show is set. Earlier this month, Ian Bowen, the character who plays Ryan, said that filming the second part of the fifth season will commence in May. The next six months will require all the editing and sound to be completed before the show is released in November. It won't be until the final episode airs in December, so for all the Yellowstone fans out there, it will be an eventful end to a brilliant show. The fifth season won't be the last we see of the Yellowstone universe. Paramount announced a spin-off show that will be a sequel to the original story of Yellowstone. They're calling it 2024 at the moment, but that could change. Matthew McConaughey was in discussions to play the lead role, to which we say, all right, all right, all right. The second part of Yellowstone's final season will be released in November 2024. A show that was aired in 2018 came through the winds of the pandemic and is now on course to end this year. It will surely stick with fans for times to come. For all the lovers of Western drama and Kevin Costner, y'all can already look forward to June when Horizon is out. Kevin Costner's return to Yellowstone will get many of the show's fans back into the mix as the hard-hitting and ruthless John Dutton will be back on the show. For how long? Well, nobody except Tyler Sheridan knows this right now. Yellowstone fans, let us know in the comments how you think the show will end for John Dutton. Like always, don't forget to subscribe for more!